we have cards that show six game suspension for Deshaun Watson here in 2022. Uh, naturally, uh, you're involved in the best ball format. I, that's got to be switching over now to everybody drafting at this point here in August. So we're going to get a better idea as to what is coming. Um, and, 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 and honestly, kind of where you feel he should be drafted right now in fantasy football, knowing what you know. I think that you and I are probably surprised that it's only six games, regardless of how you feel about the situation. But if it is, and this holds, what does it mean? So, I mean, I was definitely drafting under the assumption that Sean Watson was not going to be one of these guys who helped you win in fantasy this season. I've probably done, I don't know, 200 drafts or something like that up until this point. Uh, definitely have selected Deshaun Watson and not, definitely less than five of those. He's kind of going in, or was going sort of around 13, 14, 15 as the 25th quarterback off the board. My guess is now he probably rises immediately after the Trey Lance, Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott, Tom Brady group and is drafted something like the 12th or 13th quarterback off the board. Um, uh, assuming the six game suspension. Now there's definitely a difference between uh, a best ball quarterback and then being able to move your roster around, add a guy to cover the weeks where he's going to be missing. Cause they also uh, have their bye week in week 10, the fantasy football playoffs start in week 13 or week 14. So you're really only going to have Watson available for five games of your regular season. I probably will not be that interested in drafting him. You know, one of my, one of my big things is just don't draft players who are injured right? Because they're missing games and you just need to accumulate as many points as possible earlier in the season. And I kind of feel the same way about suspended players. You know, DeAndre Hopkins, for example, six game suspension for PEDs. Uh, there's been plenty of situations where he's been on the clock when I've been picking in the seventh or eighth round. And I just moved past because it just becomes a giant headache to have this guy on your mm -hmm. roster. You're unaware of what the performance is going to be like. You know, is Deshaun Watson still going to run? Is he going to be involved in this legal battle continuing into the season, right? The courts move a lot slower than the NFL season does, right? That is a big yep. variable here. I mean, how long did it take us for him to get through the grand jury, to get through this independent hearing? Oh, you know, he's going to appeal for zero games. The NFL, according to Greg Rosenthal from NFL.com, still has the appeals process open to them. So this independent ruling, they can appeal this. They got to go through that. I mean, and I am not a lawyer. I am not a legal expert. You know, I think we have some people who come on the channel who are have a much greater insight into, you know, the, the legal ramifications and, and the process of all of this. My, my guess would be, though, Craig, we have not heard the last of this, right? I don't think this is a situation where Watson goes, okay, cool. And the NFL goes, okay, cool. And the Browns are like, all right, that's fine. Like this is going to stay in the courts. Um, I, and I, I can't, I don't really see an end to this. So th there are people who are going to be drafting him pretty aggressively. I just, I really cannot see myself being one of those people given all of these, you know, huge question marks surrounding his availability.